Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to calculate the mean and standard deviation using Excel 2013. Now before we start let's remind ourselves what is meant by these two measures of central tendency, the mean and standard deviation. The mean is probably the most common and easiest to calculate uh, statistic. It is the result that we get when we add all the quantities in a sample together and then divide by the number of quantities. It's also, of course, known as the average. So if we look at our data over here on the left-hand side, we've got two groups of people, group A and group B, and the numbers here represent their height in centimetres. So in group A, I can see that I've got 10 people, so I know now that if I add those 10 values up, and divide by 10, I will get the average of group A and a similar calculation for group B. The standard deviation, on the other hand, tells us how much variation exists from the average. A low value tells us that the data points tend to be very close to the mean, while a higher standard deviation tells us that the data points could be spread out over a wider range of values, in other words, that they are more varied. So let's go ahead and do some calculations. So in order to calculate the mean, I need to know how many values there are in each sample. Now, this is a small sample we have here, so I can see very quickly uh, how many are in each one, but let's use the count function uh, in Excel to count the number of values in our data ranges. So in cell B15, I'm going to type in equals, count, C-O-U-N-T, opening bracket, and with my mouse, select all the values in group A, being careful not to select any uh, labels or other data, closing bracket, and press enter, and I get 10. And do the same for um, group B, type in equals, count, and select all the values in group B. There are 13 there, and we should get, and do get, a value of 13, a value of N for group B, equals 13 for group B. Now we can use these values to help us determine the average of each group. So we're going to do this in two days, two ways. First of all, a manual calculation, and then using an Excel formula. So the mean of group A is, I need to add up all the 10 values, so let's do that with the sum function, equals sum, S-U-M, opening bracket, with my mouse, select all the values in group A, closing bracket, and then I need to divide by N the number. I'm going to use cell referencing here, and click on cell B15 to put that in the formula, and press enter. And this gives us a result, the average height of people in group A is 163.0 centimetres. Now we can also use an Excel formula to determine uh, uh, the mean, and the cell formula we're going to use is called the average function. So let's delete the value of 163.0, and this time uh, go to the ribbons across the top of Excel, choose the formulas ribbon. Now the statistical formulas that we need are not listed there, so we need to check on more functions, and the first option here are the statistical uh, options within Excel, and alphabetically listed here are all the options that we use uh, to calculate uh, test statistics. So up at the top is the average function. There isn't a function called mean, so we must use this average function. So let's select that. Now this brings up our function arguments window here, and we need to tell Excel uh, where the data range uh, uh, is. So if there's any values in this box here, in my case I've got cell B15 listed, delete it, and then just with your mouse select all the values. Once again, being very, very careful to only select the values that you want to determine the mean or average of, and then click on OK. And you can see we get a mean again of 163.0 centimeters. For group B, this time instead of selecting the um, function from the formulas ribbon, I'm going to just type it in. So type in equals average, A-V-E-R-A-G-E, -E, opening bracket, and select my 13 data values here, closing bracket, and press enter. So we can see straight away that the average height of people in group B at 181.2 centimeters is way higher than the average height of people in group A at 163 centimeters. Now let's go ahead and calculate the standard deviation. So I'm going to do that for group A first. And as before, I'm going to use the formulas ribbon here. So check the formulas ribbon. Under more functions, choose the statistical functions. And this time I need to scroll down, uh, down to where the S's are to get the standard deviation. And we can see here in the center that there are several of them listed here. The most commonly ones used are stdev.p and stdev.s. So the dot .s stands for sample, dot .p stands for population. We have samples here, so this is the uh, function that we need to select. So check on that. Again, a function arguments window is displayed. And as before, click inside the box beside number one and select all the values in your data range and click on OK. So Excel tells us that the standard deviation of group A is 8.4 centimeters. As before, I'm going to do the calculation for standard deviation, this time using the type typing. So I'm going to type in equals um, STDEV 
dot s so be careful to make sure that you do use the dot s and not the dot p for sample opening bracket select all my values all 13 of them closing bracket and press enter so i can now see uh, that when i compare my two groups um, the average height of group b is higher than in group a and i can also see uh, what the standard deviation value of 5.7 is lower than the standard deviation of, of uh, 8.4 in group a therefore the variation about the mean uh, in group B at 5.7 is a lot less than the variation about the mean in group A. So that's how you calculate mean and standard deviation in Excel. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.